Welcome back to Top Gun powered by Staya, Kapapi and My Turn. Today is the fourth and the last quarter final between the world number three Lucas Kozinski of USA and European champion Bernard Pickel of Austria in a match of best of three matches of race to 10. Under this format of race to 10, the shooter with the higher shot will win a point and the one who reaches 10 points first is the winner and proceeds to the semi-final. So stay tuned and enjoy this thrilling face-off between these two champion shooters. The fourth quarter-final between these world-class shooters. Athletes to the line. Athletes to the line. Athletes to the line. And just before the match begins, we will take a very short commercial break. Stay tuned. It's going to be a thriller quarter final, the last quarter final of Top Gun between two of the finest shooters of the world. Taking a short commercial break. We'll be back soon. Python ESTA 5, intelligent software for shooters. ESTA 5 makes it easy and comfortable. With a PC, notebook, tablet or smartphone, the results are displayed directly in the browser. You can choose the display device and therefore also the display size and the type of operation of your Blackmagic measuring frame yourself. The comfortable operation is possible via touchscreen or Bluetooth control panel. Simply determine the light brightness, light color and the target image from the firing point. The shooting on the other stands is no longer disturbed. On the dynamic display in the browser we use the latest web technologies. All important information such as the competition time or series results are displayed clearly on screen. 
Sports shooters can also display the hit center, the hit circle or detailed hit statistics. New, innovative presentation of results now on mobile devices. Cost effective, flexible, simple. Esther 5 can be fully integrated to existing Myton Shootmaster systems. Myton, your partner for the shooting sport. And we are back with the last and the fourth quarter final between two great champion shooters. World number three, Lucas Kozinski of USA. And Bernhard Pickel, the double European champion from Austria. Your five minutes preparation and sighting time starts now. Five minutes preparation and sighter time started. Let's talk a little bit about the two champions more in detail. Bernard Pickel from Austria, the two times European champion with a personal best score of 631.0. His world ranking stands at 61. Coached by Lisa, Bernard has competed at two world championship, 22 World Cups. 10 European Championships, highly experienced Bernard, a multi-event shooter, specialist in all forms of rifle shooting, long range, three position, 10 meter, up against another champion shooter, Lucas Kozenski, the World Cup champion from USA. Lucas has a personal best score of 634.7, which is 1.2 more than the current world record. His world <laughs> ranking stands at three. He's competed at the Rio Olympics, one world championship and six world cups. Lucas recently won the gold at the ISSF World Cup in New Delhi in March. He's the one to watch out for in Top Gun. A very, very strong Air rifle shooter. We'll also welcome now our jury for the day, Margaret Melmer, the sport manager of the Austrian Shooting Sport Federation and an ISSF certified judge. Welcome, Margaret. Hello, Shimon. Good morning to the US and good afternoon to India and hello in Austria. Thank you, Margaret. We're also joined today by Murat Taskiner from Germany. He's from Maiten and he's joining us as the commentator. He'll be joining me as in the commentary. Welcome, Murat. Yeah, thank you, Shimon. Thanks for inviting me. Uh, I'm glad that we are here sponsoring this event. And uh, it's a very exciting event until now. And we are very, very proud to be part of it and uh, we're looking forward to this match uh, between Bernard and uh, Lucas. I think it's a very will be a very close match. Uh, I think Be uh, Lucas had 629.9 in the qualification and Bernard uh, 627.7. So very close. It will be a very exciting match most likely and we are looking forward to it. Yeah. And, and Murat, if I can ask you, who do you think will be the stronger one today? Any favorites? Well, as always, Maiton remains to be uh, not. Uh, we are what we are not taking sides. We are just hoping that it will be an exciting and uh, tense match between both of them, and the best one shall win. Hopefully, that's Murat Taskiner of Maiton, our partners for Top Gun. Margaret, what do you have to say about today's match? It's going to be a thriller. These are two great champion shooters. 
I'm sure it will be a thriller for sure. We remember yesterday, this was a great match. We go into three rounds and it was very close until the end. It was so close. And I'm sure today we will have the same situation because both shooters are very, very strong, both in a good condition. They are preparing um, uh, for the next, like Bernhard is preparing for the European Championships. They will he, This will start in two weeks. And we have seen Lucas also in a very, very good condition at the moment. So this will be great, for sure. We are nearing the end of the five minutes preparation inside the time. Both the shooters look all set. End of preparation and sighting time. Stop. Reset your targets. This is it. From seconds from now, the shooters will take their first shot. Of the first set. For the first competition shot. Load. Start. Wall number three, Lucas Kozensky of USA. Can he take the first point? Starts with a 10.3. Yeah, I guess it won't. I mean, Can the Austrian shooter Bernhard beat the 10.3? Oh, 9.6. start by the European champion Bernard Pickel shoots 9.6. Looks under pressure. Point in favor of Lucas Kozensky of USA. Lucas won. Bernard yet to open the account. Murat, what's your well, initial? First reaction seems, seems like Bernard is a has not a good start. Probably a little bit shaky at the, at the beginning, but I'm sure he will pick up and uh, show his performance afterwards. I'm I'm sure he will pick up and his performance will improve most likely. We're ready for the next shot. First point goes in favor of the American ace shooter Lucas Kozensky, the world number three and the World Cup champion. For the next competition shot. Load. Start. A very tense start to the Fourth and the last quarterfinal of Top Gun between these two great champion shooters. The world number three, Lukas Kozensky. There you go. Takes the first point. Bernhard comes back with a 10.4. Can Lucas beat this? No, 10.2. Lukas Kozensky loses this point to Bernhard. Shoots a 10.2 point in favor of Bernhard. Both the shooters. One all. Yeah, it's a good start. One all, as expected. 
Yes, Murata as expected. This is, is going to be a neck and neck fight throughout the match. Both shooters are world class. For the next competition shot, load. Start. That's the two time European champion Bernard Pickel of Austria, who's leveled the score with the world number three Lukas Kozinski. Both shooters at one point. A long way to go. This is a race to 10 format. Seems like a good shot. The shooter with the highest shot wins a point, and the shooter which reaches 10 points first is the winner. Yeah, 10.7, there you go. Bernhard, once again, a great shot, 10.7. Not an easy shot to beat. 10.2. Lucas loses the point to Bernhard, shoots a 10.2 point once again in favor of Bernhard. Bernhard in the lead for the very first time. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Good comeback by the Austrian shooter after that shaky 9.6. He registered a 10.4 and a 10.7 in the last shot. Taking two back to back points in the lead another point for bernard lukas kozinski three back to back consecutive 10.2 makes some fine adjustments to his stance Bernard, 10.4, takes the point. Bernard of Austria, 3. Lucas of USA, 1. Bernard leading with 2 points. For the next competition shot, load. Start. World number three, Lucas Kozenski of USA. He won the gold at the recently held ISSF World Cup in New Delhi. Registers a 10.3 this time. Bernard once again claiming the point with a 10.4. No, no, no. No, no, no. This is the fourth shot. We are waiting for the fifth. Okay. It just corrected by the jury, Margaret Melmer, who's pointed out that we are still waiting for the fifth shot. Lucas with a 10.3. Bernard needs to go beyond 10.3. 10.7. There you go. That's a 10.7. A fantastic shot. Point in favor of Bernard. Bernard 4. Lucas 1. Bernard extending his lead to 3 points now. The European champion, the multi event shooter from Austria, in the lead. 
for the next competition shot. Load. Start. Bernard once again on the sixth shot shoots a 10.7. Yeah. Lucas Kozenski a 10.4. Point in favor of Bernard once again. The total score reads Bernhard, Austria 5, Lucas, USA 1. Bernhard's taken that early lead of 4 points. Oh, that's a comfortable lead. Yes, it is, Murad, but knowing uh, uh, Lucas, a very strong air rifle shooter, capable of bouncing back anytime. I'm very sure. For the next competition shot, load. Start. This time Bernard registers a 10.1, a golden chance for the world number three, Lucas, to claim a point here. 10.8. Lucas bounces back with a 10.8. Yes, Murat. What a way to win the point with a near perfect 10.8 point this time in favor of Lucas Kozenski of USA. Score now, Bernard 5. Lucas 2. That's the score of Lucas. Comes back strongly with a 10.8. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Bernard Pickle of Austria still in a very comfortable lead. Very talented rifle shooter. Equally good in all forms of rifle shooting. 10 meter, 50 meter, 300 meters. Yes, and he's also the world record holder in 300 meter Rifle, standard, standard rifle. He's the world record holder. Bernhard. Yes, Margaret, highly experienced as well. Lives up to his name and his introduction. Bernard Pickle with a 10.7. Can Lucas beat this? Looks like a strong 10. Falls short with 0 0.2. Shoots a 10.6 point in favor of Bernard Pickle. Total score. Bernard 
6, Lucas 2. Bernard still in a very, very comfortable lead. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Just before that shot, Margit, the sport manager of the Austrian Shooting Sport Federation, was telling us that Bernhard is a world record holder in, in the 300 meter rifle shooting. What a talented shooter. Equally good in the 10 meter event. Ten point six. Ten point six by Lucas. Bernard needs to go beyond the ten point six to claim this point. Ooh. No, he does not. Shoots a ten point three point in favor of the world number three, Lucas Kozinski. Score now. Bernard six, Lucas three. For the next competition shot, load. Start. The next shot will also give us an idea of, of, of the total score in the series, which doesn't matter in this format. It's a race to 10 format. Bernard 10.5. Oh, another 10.5, I think. Lucas, mark it if you can. Yes, it is a 10.5. Correct. Both shooters shoot an identical 10.5. What a round. Point not awarded as per rules to none of the shooters. Score still remains the same. Bernard 6, Lucas 3. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Shooter who shoots a higher 10 gets a point and a shooter who reaches 10 points first is the winner. There will be a best of three race to 10. So a shooter who wins two matches proceeds to the semi-final. Ten point one, Bernard. Yes, Murat. Ten point one. Very easy for the world number three, Lucas, to beat. Right. Shoots a near perfect 10.8 on the 11th shot. Lucas Kozinski back in the game. Just two points away from Bernard. The total score reads Bernard 6, Lucas 4. That's pretty good. Yes, Murat. As predicted, it's very tense, tense uh, match between them. 6 4. I think there is nothing decided yet. Yes, there's a lot of lots of things left in the match. It's a long way to go. Both shooters equally good today. 
Let's see what happens in the next shot. Who takes the next point? For the next competition shot, load. Start. And there's a question for the viewers. Who will win the first match? Bernard in the lead. But Lucas Kozenski, the world number three, can bounce back and take the first match. Whom do you think is going to win the match? Send us your answers in the comments below. 10.2. Lucas. That's a 10.2 by Lucas. 10.6 from Bernard takes the point with a 10.6. Bernard 7, Lucas 4. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Bernard, the European champion from Austria, still with a comfortable lead. We already threw with 12 shots. In the first set of race to 10, shoots a 10.7, never an easy shot to beat. Lucas falls short. Yes, Lucas falls short by only 0 0.1, shoots a 10.5 point in favor of Bernard once again. Bernard 8, Lucas 4. For the next competition shot, load. Start. A very interesting battle going on between two great shooters. Lukas Kwasinski, the world number three and the World Cup champion versus Bernard Pickel, the European champion of Austria. Strong 10.7 from Lukas. That's the 10.7. Looks like a shaky shot by Bernard. A 9.5 by Bernard. Point this time in favor of Lucas Kozenski. Bernhard 8, Lucas 5. For the next competition shot, load. Start. A thrilling encounter between these two great champions. Bernard still leading the game with three points. Shoots a 10.4 on the 15th shot. Ten point seven. Lucas with a 10.7 claims another point. Total score Bernard 8, Lucas 6. It's becoming more and more interesting here. Lucas just two points 
Shot of Bernard. A lot of fans cheering for both these champion shooters. Let's see who takes the next point. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Bernard looks very stable. Shoots a bit towards the left. Another oh, it's 9.5. 9.5. Very, very easy for Lucas to claim this point. And he does it. Shoots a 10.7 to claim this point. Lucas. Now just a point away, Bernard 8, Lucas 7. Murat, what do you have to say about the current standing? Oh, it just comes up just as I predicted. It will be a very, very close match. And Lucas is not giving up. Why, why would he have to? I mean, he's a very good shooter. I think he, there is a, anything can go here, really. Margit, what do you have to say about this current situation? Luke is coming back so strongly. We'll proceed to the next shot. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Three ten point seven in a row by the world number three, Lucas Kozenski of USA. Can he shoot the fourth one? Shoots a ten point two this time. A ten point two by Bernard, also both the shooters. At the same score, once again, point not awarded to anyone. Total score, Bernard 8, Lucas 7. As predicted, it is becoming a neck-and-neck -neck fight between these two great champion shooters. World number 3, Lucas Kozenski of USA. And the European champion from Austria, Bernard Pickle. <laughs> For the next competition shot, load. Start. Bernard Pickle of Austria still in the lead. And this man, right behind him, 10.5 from Lucas. 10.5. 10 10.1. 10 10.1 loses the point to Lucas. Lucas and Bernard for the very first time, eight all. After a long time, they have tied the score. Lucas, eight. Bernard, eight. It is Incredible. becoming a very, very intense match. It can go any way from here. Both shooters just two points away from claiming the first match. 
What a comeback by the world number three, Lucas Kozinski. For the next competition shot, load. Start. A ten point two by the American. Here's the chance for Bernard. There you go. Bernard takes the point with a 10.3. Bernard 9, Lucas 8. Bernard just a point away from claiming the first match. Can Bernard win the first match? Or will it be Lucas who will claim the next two points and win this? Very, very interesting. Quarter final between these two champions. Very important for Lucas to claim the next point if he has to stop Bernard from winning the first match of the last quarter final. For the next competition shot, load. Start. And we just saw the comment from the reigning Olympic champion and Lucas teammate Ginny Thrasher cheering on for her teammate Lucas Kozenski. Strong 10.6 from Lucas. Lucas shoots a 10.6 at a very crucial time. Can Bernard beat this? No, he does not. Shoots a 10.1 point in favor of Lucas. Both the shooters, wow. nine all. As predicted, this is turning out to be a neck and neck match between these two great champion shooters. Very, very tense situation. Both the shooters, nine all. The shooter who shoots the next shot better wins the first match. What a situation. What a match. Murat, quickly. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's, it's tense. It's exciting. Exactly what everybody wants to see. There you go. You have it. Margaret, very quickly. My heart is beating. I have totally heart beating. Oh, just imagine if your heart is beating, you can very well imagine what these champion shooters trained for these situations. But I'm, I can tell you that, you know, shooters under this situation, their heart rate becomes very, very fast. And let's not make them wait any longer. Let's proceed to the next shot. <laughs> Before that, let's put up the question once again. Very, very interesting situation here. Whom do you think will win the first match? Put your answers in the comments below. Both Bernard and Lucas at 9 all. Both need just a point to win the first match. Send us your answers in the comments below as we proceed to the next shot for the next competition shot load start Let's see, you can keep his nerves. Oh, 
A 10.7 by the world number three, Lucas Kozenski. Not an easy shot to beat. Bernard needs to go beyond 10.7 if he has to win the match. No, he does not. Shoots a shaky 9.5. Lucas Kozenski wins the first match. What a great comeback. Lucas, the world number three, World Cup champion, wins the first match. Lucas 10. Bernard, who was leading throughout in this match, loses to Lucas with the thinnest possible margin of one point. Lucas 10. Bernard 9, one of the most interesting quarterfinal matches we have witnessed till now. Lucas taking the first match. Murat, what do you have to say? Um, unbelievable, unbelievable match. It's, uh, I mean, uh, Lucas, uh, sorry, Bernard was leading with four points in the beginning with five to one. And uh, Lucas didn't give up as I predicted as well. Unbelievable. He just got it because he was determined to win. And basically got his win through that because of his de determination. Unbelievable. Very, very exciting match. And there we can see his coach, Dan Durbin, uh, giving him some valuable tips. Margit, very quickly, how do you analyze the first match? Must be a little disappointed, Margit. Margit. It seems we have lost Margaret for some time. We will just speak to her. Please don't go away. We will take a very short commercial break. This is an interesting battle between two great champion shooters. With world number three, Lukas Kozenski, coming back from behind and taking the first match. We have Margaret back. Margaret, very quickly, what do you have to say about the first match? You must be a little disappointed. Unbelievable. We remember Bernhard was leading with five to one and Lucas, he turned the whole match. He turned it. It was great. Thanks for this. Thank you. <laughs> we'll take a very short commercial break. Please don't go away. This is becoming more and more interesting with Lucas claiming the first match 10-9. We'll be back soon. New from Iton, Lana, the lane allocation software for shooting ranges. Myton makes it possible to allocate electronic shooting lanes without additional staff at the main computer. With immediate effect, shooters can now choose their own lane even using their own smartphone. Lana is accessed via a web browser and the shooter is then searched in the Myton database. The shooter selects the desired shooting program and shooting lane. This can be done either by directly entering the name, the sports ID registration number or by using the barcode of the starter card or the sports ID card. This means an enormous workload relief of the shooting lane staff during lane allocation. All data are queried by LANA live from the Myton server, so the shooter always receives live information about free lanes and his personal club account. LANA is the complete solution in combination with the program price shooting and results.
Simple operating concept, intelligent starter selection, always up-to-date information. Myton. Precise, flexible, unique. And we are back. The first match in favor of Lucas. Just a quick recap of the first match in the last quarterfinal you're witnessing today between the world number three Lukas Kozinski and the European champion Bernard Pickle. Bernard threw out in the lead but Lukas came back so strongly claiming the first match 10-9. We are now ready to start the next match. Remember it's a best of three. And Lucas needs to win two matches if he has to proceed to the semi final. For the first competition shot, load, start. The last quarter final. Turning out to be the most thrilling one between world number three Lukas Kozenski of USA and European champion Bernard Pickel of Austria. Very strong temperament. Bernard starts the second match with a 10.8. Lucas shoots a 10.0. Bernard takes the first point of the second match. Bernard won. Lucas yet to open his account at zero. A very strong start. For the next competition shot. Load. Start. Yes, Murat, a strong start by Bernard. Yeah. And Bernard shooting on a mighty target. One of the most accurate targets in the world, used by some of the finest shooters around the world. Has multiple features, state of art technology. Shoots a 10.1 this time. Bernard Pickle, a 10.1, an easy shot for the world number three, Lucas, to beat. Oh. 10.0. Oh, no, 9.9. 9. Oh. What a low scoring round. Clearly showing both the great shooters under pressure. This is what the race to 10. Format does to the best in the business, puts them under extreme pressure. A low scoring round point once again in favor of Bernhard. Bernhard in the lead with two points. Bernhard two, Lucas zero.
For the next competition shot, load. Start. And just like the first match, Bernard has taken the early lead. But if you remember in the qualification round, Lucas, he, ha he shot 627.9 and Bernhard 627.7, only 0 0.2 behind in the qualification. So it looks Look, that we will just be a point point four. Wow, well, another template. Shoots a near perfect 10.8 to claim yet another point. Bernard once again with a clear lead. Bernard 3, Lucas 0. For the next competition shot, load. Start. The world number three and the World Cup champion, Lukas Kwasinski, capable of bouncing back anytime. Yet to open his account. A 10.5 by Lucas. Bernard 10.4 point this time in favor of Lucas. Lucas opens his account in the second match. Bernard 3, Lucas 1. It always gives a good feeling to a shooter to claim the first point. Does wonders to the confidence in such high pressure formats. <laughs> For the next competition shot, load. Start. Lukas Kozinski wearing a Kapapi kit. Very stable. One of the best kits when it comes to rifle clothing. Shoots a 10.7. Bernard needs to go beyond 10.7 if he wants to claim a point. No, he does not. Shoots a 10.3. Point in favor of Lucas. Bernard 3, Lucas 2. And the same story unfolds again. Nobody gives up, and it's a very tense match between them. They are very, their performances are very similar. It will be oh, hard. Yes, it is. yes, Murat, as expected, we had predicted that this match is, is going to be a thriller. These two great champion shooters, highly experienced and world class. <laughs> For the next competition shot, load. Start. This is the second match of the fourth quarterfinal between Lukas Kozenski of USA and Bernard Pickle of Austria. Lukas already won the first match. Can Bernard claim this one? Very shaky, 9.6 by Bernard Pickle. Lucas claims the point. 
with the 10.3 for the very first time in the second match both the shooters at the same score Lucas 3 Bernard 3 yes for the next competition shot, load. Start. This is world class shooting. That's a low score. Lucas not very happy with the 10.2. Make some fine adjustments to his feet. Trying to find the best stance. Can Bernard beat this? Yes, he does it. Returns the 10.2 of Lucas with a 10.7. Claims the point. Bernard 4, Lucas 3. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Very exciting, very exciting. Very exciting and, and, and very, a very tense, intense match, a very thrilling match, Murat. As predicted, it's unbelievable. Let's see if that change in stance helps Lucas. Yes, it does. A 10.7 by Lucas Kozenski. Whoa, another one. Fantastic. Returns that 10.7 with a 10.7 point. Not in favor to any of the shooters. Score still remains the same. Bernard of Austria 4, Lucas 3. I think this is the very closest match that we've seen so far. It's, it's almost like similar. The identical performances between both of the shooters. It's, it's incredible. I mean, very, very good. Yes, and, 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 and what a comeback in the, in the first match. If we can quickly talk about it, it was a fantastic comeback. But this is not much of a comeback because both the shooters are, are already neck and neck right from the very start. Of, obviously, Bernard took uh, the initial lead once again. But now Lucas is, is, is just behind him and, and matching the score. It's going to be very interesting as we proceed to the next shot. <laughs> For the next competition shot, load. Start. Both the shooters registering an identical 10.7. In the last shot. Let's see who takes the next point. Ten point three by Lucas, not very happy with the ten point three. Oh wow. Bernard very shaky once again, shoots a nine point six point in favor of Lucas. Lucas four, Bernard four, both the shooters level once again at level. Moving to the next shot. For the next competition shot, load. Start. The 
race to 10 format can put the best of the best under pressure. This is a match of strong nerves. Bernard returns with a near perfect 10.8. Fantastic comeback after that very shaky shot. Shoots a 10.8. Lucas shoots a 10.5. Point goes to Bernard. Total score. Bernard once again in the lead. Bernard 5, Lucas 4. For the next comp For the next competition shot. Load. Start. Very important for Bernard to win the second match. He's already one match down. A strong shot by Lukas Kozenski. Once again a 10.7. Bernard, a 9.9, .9, loses the point to Lucas. What a match this is turning out to be. Absolutely neck and neck. Lucas, 5, Bernard, 5. I think we can see how nervous uh, some shooters can be uh, if the pressure's up. It's, uh, well, unbelievable. Like 9.9, 10.8. Let's see what happens. Next shots are important. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Both the shooters at five all. Lucas registers a 10.5. Bernard a 10.2. Point goes to Lucas. Lucas in the lead. Lucas 6. Bernard 5. Very important for Bernard to claim this match. For the next competition shot, load. Start. I think it's very important for Lucas to know that he's in the lead for the first time. It's psychologically very important, I guess. So let's see if this is going to benefit him. I'm sure it will, but knowing Lucas, you know, I, I don't think a, a lead really matters to him, which was shown by him in the first match. That's a 10.6. Looks satisfied with his last three shots. And wow. Bernard replies with a 10.8 to claim the point. Both the shooters at six all. Lucas six, Bernard six. What a match. 
Yes, this is exactly what the spectators want to see. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Two-time European champion and a world record holder in 300 meter Bernard Pickel of Austria. Needs to win this match if he wants to stay in the race. Lucas shoots a 10.2. Bernard shoots a 10.6, claims the point. Bernard in the lead once again. Bernard seven, Lucas six. It's neck and neck. Yes, Murad, absolutely neck and neck competition between these two great champion shooters. We're ready for the next shot now. Can Lucas level the score once again? For the next competition shot, load. Start. A lot of a lot of shooting fans from across the world cheering for both the champion shooters. Lucas registers a 10.5. Can Bernard beat this? He wow. comes up also with a 10.5. Once again, both the shooters registered an identical shot of 10.5. Not awarded to any of the two shooters. Total score Bernard 7, Lucas 6. So the next competition shot, load. Start. It's almost like they are both carbon copies of each other. They are, it's unbelievable. It's shooting the same scores, probably in the same positions. Well, well, no, not right, quite, but still. Same score. A 10.3 by Lucas. Bernard, once again, a brilliant 10.8 to claim the point. Fantastic shooting by Bernard Pickle. Bernard, 8, Lucas, 6. Are we going to see a third leg? Time will only tell Murat. Bernard shooting on the might and target. And as we speak about the might and target, we're also joined by Murat Taskina of the Mighton. Murat, what do you have to say about the target Bernard is using? The model, the features? It's an, it's an SR, uh, SR5, SR mobile model. It's uh, very, very um, flexible. You can use any type of uh, device, uh, mobile phone, tablet, laptop, whatever you want, really. And it's um, you can basically display the, the, the results straight away on that device. So all you need Great. to do is a cable or wireless connection. That's all. Great, great, Murat. We will move to the next shot. For the next competition shot, load. Start. 
start. That was Murat of Maitin talking about the highly sophisticated Maitin targets used by the champion shooters around the world. Very, very accurate. Bernard Pickle, shaky, shoots a 9.5. A very, very easy shot for Lucas to beat. And he does it. Lucas with a 10.2 claims the point. Bernard 8, Lucas 7. Lucas once again seen making some adjustments to his stance. For the Perfect. next competition shot, load. Start. I think Lucas uh, wants to prevent a third leg by any means, and he's not going to give up. So you can see it. Knowing these two champion shooters, it's, it's not going to be easy for her. either one. 10.4 by Lucas this time. Bernard, a 10.1 point in favor of Lucas. Both eight Both points. the shooters, once again, eight all. Last two shots went to Lucas. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Lucas Kozinski recently won the ISSF World Cup gold in men's 10 meter air rifle in Delhi. Fresh from his victory. Shoots another 10.4. A very, very strong air rifle shooter. Lucas. Um, Bernard, wow, fantastic wow. shooting. A 10.4 for a 10.4. Both the shooters shoot an identical score. None of them is awarded a point. Score still remains the same. Lucas 8, Bernard 8. This has uh, haven't happened before in any match. So many identical shots. Bernard is not letting this match to slip away from his hand for the next competition shot load start lucas Just brilliant. His score, his personal best score is 1.2, then more than the current world record. Shoots another 10.4 this time. Lucas Kozenski of USA. Can Bernard beat this? No, he does not. Shoots 9.8 point in favor of Lucas. Lucas, once again, just a point away from claiming the second match 
and proceeding to the semi-final. Can Bernard stop him? Or will it be Lucas who will enter the semi-final? I did challenge it. Bernard Pickle capable of registering a high 10 in the next shot and making it 9 all. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Just like the last le uh, set, Lucas is overtaking at the very end and taking the lead. He wants to finish it off. Shoots another 10.4. Can Bernard beat this? Or is it all over for him? Yes. No, 10.9. Bernard Pickle, bang on target, just when it mattered the most. Such a crucial it's time to win the point. Bernard Pickle, this is the first 10.9 by Bernard Pickle. This is the first 10.9 of the fourth quarter final today. Bernard Pickle, amazing performance by him, Murat. And, and Margit, does it put a smile on your face? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yes. Just when it mattered the most. Bernhard comes with a strong, perfect 10.9 to claim the point. Scores are level once again. The scores read Lucas 9, Bernard 9. We've never seen this before and in any of the quarterfinals, Murat. Both the matches at 9. I think, I think um, not pe probably many people notice that. Uh, it's like the six, 10.4 of Lucas uh, in a row. It's unbelievable. He, sh he keeps on shooting 10.4s very consistently, though. Fantastic. Just brilliant. Bernard Pickle, the multi-talented shooter. Bang on target when it mattered the most. 10.9. Let's proceed to the next shot and see who wins the second match if... Remember, if Lucas claims the next point, he's through to the semis. If Bernhard claims the next point, we will have to play the decider. For the next competition shot, load. Start. And the world number three, Lucas Kozenski, finish in the next shot and proceed to the semi final. Or will it be the Austrian Bernard Pickle? We'll take the second match. Oh, perfect 10.9. Lucas Kozenski wow. stamping his class. Just when it mattered the most, Lukas Kozinski, the champion shooter from USA, stamping his class. Bernard Pickle shoots That's a 10 a point one. one. Lukas Kozinski is the winner with a perfect 10.9. What a time to shoot a 10.9 and claim the second match. That was Lucas. exactly like the last one, last set. He just got it at the very last finish line. It's unbelievable, Lucas. Well done. What a, what a, what a shooter. A 10.9. Just when it mattered the most, Bernard Pickle had registered a 10.9 to stop Lucas from the winning shot. Lucas returns that 10.9 in the next shot. A perfect shot, stamping his class. Lucas, the winner, please don't go away. We will come back and speak to the winners after this very, very short commercial break.
the Maitong Black Magic electronic scoring target for the discipline's 10 meter air pistol combination or 10 meter air pistol standard. For many years, Maiton systems have been used abroad at championships with multi shot air pistols. Now, with the improved version of the RFP5 lighting attachment, which features more powerful LEDs behind a sturdy, translucent protection plate. This is the perfect solution to train dynamic disciplines on a shorter distance. The red and green light control works with high precision and no noticeable reaction time. No warm-up, no afterglow, fully electronically controlled and with an extremely long service life. Maiton. Precise, flexible, unique. Welcome back to Top Gun. That was an amazing match. We will quickly take reactions from the shooters. Bernard Pickle. Bernard. Hi Bernard. Fantastic performance by you. It was a thrilling. Thank you so much for entertaining us. That was some brilliant show by you. Little unlucky. Little unlucky. But you were equally good. What do you have to say about this match? Uh, yes, thanks, Shimon. Um, congrats at first to Lucas. You've done a good job. I think it was very close. Uh, as I said a few days ago, the fourth against the fifth after the qualification, it's always very close and a tough match, as I said. And again, congratulations. Um, to me, I think I shot uh, too many uh, nines far away. I don't took the the easy the easy point it was always very high uh, and so yeah lucas is the the winner Bernard, you i saw i noticed either you shot a a shaky shot or you shot a real real high 10 like a 10.8 or 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 a 10.7 so, you know there were the you know, the lesser 10s were not there. Either it was a very high 10 or it was a little shaky shot. Yes, that's uh, what I said. So I think there, I have to look at my triggering. I think there are some technical details which I can uh, have to improve uh, until the, the next competitions. But I think uh, the whole position is, is right. I think uh, I'm in a good mood. Technically, but I think some short details like the triggering uh, is what what I need to work on. Absolutely, Bernard. But that what a fantastic performance, and especially if you can uh, tell us a little bit more about that very crucial ten point nine. Just when it mattered the most, you came back such with such a brilliant shot of ten point nine, Bernard. Yes, Shimon. You know, uh, you you can't shoot uh, 10.9. It's it's uh, more or less a coincidence. You can shoot the 10.7. You can see the 10.7, but 10.9 is always a little bit of a coincidence. But um, to whole uh, Top Gun event, I think it's cool. It's I have many uh, matches in the German Bundesliga, and I think that's similar with the pressure. You have really every shot is a final shot. It's it's very uh, important and and so it's like yeah it's like German Bundesliga you are under pressure over 30 40 shots and that's cool that's a very big compliment coming from the world record holder Bernard Pickel comparing our event our new event to the German Bundesliga one of the oldest shooting leagues in the world of which my 10 is also a part. Now we will quickly, Murat or Margit, if you have any questions for Bernhard, if you want to interact with Bernhard. Yes, I have one question to Bernhard. At first, congratulations. 
It was really a great, great, great match that you've seen. Bernard, how was the how was your feeling? Do you feel it more uh, more interesting to do one and one shot, or have you more pressure with one and one shot, or with uh, with a competition of sixty shots? How was how was your feeling for? Um, I think one and one shot is is much more. You need more power. Is it, I'm right? Yes, you. You have the pressure on every shot, and I think when you shot the 60 shot uh, competition, you have the start and you have the end and some uh, phase phases between. But but not every shot you have this in this wave in a in a competition on a 60 shots competition, and and that's different to this format. Yes, I, I, I think so, because uh, sometimes it's a short break, then it's a longer break. And can you hear the shot, what Lucas has done? Yes, in the beginning, the first few shots, I, I noticed what Lucas had shot, yeah. but at the end, no. Okay. But I, I okay. can see the, the moderator and everything. Okay, okay. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Murat, if you want to have a quick chat, yeah, with... just a quick one. Um, the 9.8, I think the the ones, uh, those ones, uh, basically cost you in the match at the end of the day. But nothing you can do; it happens. You're a shooter. You should. You know that. And uh, well, it's part of this competition format as well. I think uh, every shot counts, and there is a lot of pressure in terms of the shot. And uh, it's not like a normal competition where you have 60 shots and you get a certain structure in your shooting. It's basically up and down, and you saw that. And, uh, well, still very good performance, very exciting match. And we, you saw, basically, everybody saw you both were basically almost like carbon copies of each other, almost shooting the same score every on every shot. Uh, I think the 9.8, they, they, they made the difference here. Otherwise, you probably would have won this match. Probably, maybe I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess uh, congrats to Lucas. Maybe we we have uh, another match sometimes against each other. Maybe on a World Cup level or World Championship level. Um, so again, congrats, Lucas. I wish you the best in the semifinals. I think you have another Austrian competitor. I'm not sure, hundred percent, but. Uh, no, you're that's right. right. That's right. Will Lucas will be up against. Your teammate Bernard, he will be Martin. competing with Martin Schremfel. Yes, you're right, Bernard. Lucas will be shooting against Martin. So that's Bernard Pickle. What a performance by him today. Very, very thrilling match. Thank you, Bernard. Thank you. We look forward to seeing you in our next competition. Thanks, Bernard. Have a great day. And now we we'll take... Thank you. And now the champion, the winner of the day. Let's once again hear for him before we chat. Lucas, many congratulations. What a performance. What a match. You were behind Bernhard in, in most in the maximum part of the first match. You were trailing behind Bernard. Did it bother you? You made a very strong comeback. Your initial reaction on the first match first. Um it was it was exciting. You know, I that's that's how I compete is one shot at a time. And you know, Bernhard's a pretty good shooter. And so I, I knew I just kind of had to go out there and leap out on the field. And well, it ended up working out in my favor, but it was, it was a moment to moment. I mean, it took us 21 shots to get through the first match. And that's, that was good. That was really exciting. And uh, uh, Lucas, uh, what, do you, what do you have to say 
which was more thrilling for you as a shooter? You were under more pressure in the first match or the second match? Honestly, it was the same. He he kept me on my toes the entire time, and I think I kept him on his toes the entire time. I mean, it was – I've never seen that many tied shots before and, like, just in shooting in general. And for us to do it, I mean, a third of the time was really cool. So that, that kept the energy high and the pressure on. Yes, and we've also not witnessed any of the quarterfinals, uh, both the both the matches today, uh, reaching the nine-all score. Uh, such an intense situation in both the matches, and and tell us about that perfect ten point nine on the last, that winning shot of ten point nine. Did the ten point nine uh, uh, by by Bernhard pushed you to shoot a ten point nine? What what was it? Um, Him? when he shot his ten point nine. It occurred to me, he's like, hmm, I've only been shooting 10 fours and that's not good enough. And I just kind of sent it down range on the last shot. It actually looked a lot worse than the 10.9. I, yeah, it looked pretty bad, but whatever. That's okay. <laughs> and incidentally, uh, Lucas, these were the only two 10.9s by both of you. The, the last shot on 10.9 was the only 10.9 you shot in this match in, in today's quarterfinal. Uh, Brilliant performance by you, Murat and Margit. If you want to talk to Lucas, Margit, do you want to go first? Okay, thanks, thanks, Murat. Uh, congratulations from my side, Lucas. You are the winner of today, and you know tomorrow there will be Martin. You watched? Do you watch this match on Facebook two days, three days ago? I did. It was good to watch. Yes, you have seen him. Okay, so how do you think will be your chance for tomorrow? <laughs> eh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Another question, because it's now uh, very early in the morning. When did you get up this morning? I think at time? Like five o'clock, I think. Five o'clock. Five a.m. Yeah, okay, and it's not how I drive down here. So. And how did you prepare for this match today? So well, you get up at five, and then. I got up at five, um, fed the dogs, um, drank a cup of coffee, got breakfast, and then I drank my bottle of beet juice. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> and then, um, and then I came here, and you know, we set up this whole this whole setup, and I warmed up, I, I ran around a little bit, stretched, and um, and then we just we came right into it. Okay, thank you. because uh, I think a lot of people will interest this. How a how a professional shooter like you were tracking number three? How will we prepare for such a competition? So, the the match start at on your time. I think seven thirty in the morning. Yep. It did. So two and a half hours before you're getting up and make exercises and practice. Yep. Okay. So. Then um, I don't know if I should tell you, or oh, yeah, I should tell you good luck for tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, I think it will be a great match tomorrow for sure. Uh, today, for me, it was um, my feedback. I had so much heart beating. I cannot, I cannot explain. But I really, I was sitting and boom, 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 boom. It was great. <laughs> Thank you for these hours. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck, please. Yeah, just just one quick question. I mean, I noticed that you were shooting like almost like six 10.4s in a row. It, uh, we were thinking like, okay, he's got set. He's he's, he's basically set on that on that uh, score, and uh, incredible. On the very last shot where it counted, you shot a 10.9. It's unbelievable. It, brilliant performance, I have to say, and congratulations uh, for winning this match, and uh, good luck for the remaining part of this competition. I think, uh, I hope you like this competition, I do. and, and uh, the format, and I hope this is going to carry on for the future as well, and uh, it gives the spectators a lot more excitement as well. I'm sure they love it. And yeah. I hope the shooters too. Yeah, this is exciting. I think this really brings the international shooting community closer together, and well, it is, it is really exciting for the spectators. I mean, I spent my weekend watching the matches, so it's, Beautiful. you know, it's this is good. I like participating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we keep on good, uh, going. Uh, the shooting spot will will survive and will will carry on. Come up with new innovations. Uh, there are not many other sports competitions uh, that are trying to find new ways, and we are trying to find a new way. And this is the way to go. I hope. Yeah. Yeah. 
good stuff anyway good luck for the future and good luck for your next match against martin yep. strempel will be a tough match you know and see you again thank you and see lucas you i wanted to ask you <laughs> i also wanted to ask you lucas uh, uh, i i observed you changed uh, there was some change in your stance you were trying to get the best stance after shooting uh, you know throughout the match you were not very happy with your stance if if you can uh, tell us what were you doing exactly with a lot of junior shooters watching you right now around the world um well you know waking up early to come here and shoot just in the beginning of the morning like the body's all still kind of locked up from sleeping and so even though i warmed up and i did my usual stretches things were still loosening and so the position was changing on its own the pretty much the entire time and so i kept messing with my feet kept messing with my hips and just trying to get on top of what i feel like the shot should feel like and it was it would work sometimes and then the, the body would you know relax and change a little bit and then i'd have to adjust again so there's a lot of stuff that i was doing when probably you guys are watching bernhard shoot um when the camera was away um i was doing a lot this entire time just moving my feet and moving my moving my position around just just to get comfortable um and I didn't really find that position the whole time, but it doesn't matter. It's, you just got to you got to work with what you got. And did you ever feel in the first match, you know, that the Bernard had taken an initial lead that was a big lead for to cover in in in, in such a format? So, uh, do you think that the you thought that the first match had already slipped from your hand, or were you okay with that? No, I was I was okay with that. You know, it's not over until it's over, and so. Pretty much as, as soon as that match was over, that's when I would readjust for the next thing. And so the way I, heard, the way I saw it was, well, one shot at a time, survive in advance, and I ended up where I ended up. Excellent, Lucas. Lucas, can we speak to Dr. Dan Durbin? Yeah, oh, what, what a competition. That was an exciting one for sure. Hi, coach. Many congratulations. Thank you. Once again, your shooter is in the semi final. That was a brilliant performance by Lucas. What's your initial reaction? Can you give us some insight in, about the match today? Yeah, I mean, that, that really was exciting. And I think that's what happens when you have such two closely matched world class athletes. Um, my congratulations to Bernhard. That was an excellent uh, competition on his side. I think it really did make it exciting for the, the spectators. But uh, yeah, very, very nice competition today. And uh, if you can tell us about this amazing comeback by Lucas. I, mean, I as, as, as a spectator, if I uh, was watching this match, I would have thought that there's no way Lucas can, can win the first match. But uh, yeah, that's that's what makes this format so exciting. And again, when you have world class athletes um, at any time, um, they can string together some, some exceptional shots. Um, and again, it, you know, it, each shot counts as its own. So uh, you may have a nine on one shot, but uh, that doesn't matter on the next shot coming up. And all it takes is, again, excellent athletes shooting good shots. And at any time, any of them can make a comeback. So really fun to watch. And I was just, uh, I put this question up for Lucas also. I observed that he made a lot of changes to his stance throughout the match. Were you guiding him? Were you telling him to change? Is it advisable? Because a lot of young shooters are watching both of you right now and hearing you from around the world. Do you think it's a good idea to keep making these minor adjustments to the stance throughout the match, throughout the finals? Yes. In this case for Lucas, yeah, that was the right move. As he mentioned, he was having some issues with being just a little tense. Um, again, it's a high pressure situation. Uh, he mentioned that that here uh, we had to be up pretty early to get into the range to get ready for this competition. Um, so, you know, what he did and what you saw, I think, on camera was he fought all the way through to do what he needed to do to shoot good shots. And sometimes it's going to take that to make minor adjustments along the way. That's Dan Durbin, coach of Lucas and Ginny, speaking to us. All the best, coach. Thank you. Both your students in the semi-final. Tomorrow, there will be a semi-final between Lucas and Martin. And uh, we really look forward for that match. Uh, yeah, Murat or Margaret, if you want to have a word with the coach, Murat. 
Yeah, just a quick one. Uh, I mean, you you were probably uh, watching him uh, seeing those ten point fours. I mean, I noticed that like six, ten point fours after in a row. Uh, were you thinking of uh, like giving him some advice, or were, were you um, just thinking just leave him and uh, he will he will do his job? Or what what were you, what will what's going through your head during that time? Oh, at, at that point, it's just let him do his job. Again, Lucas is right. very skilled. He he knows what he's doing. Um, you know, the hold was moving around just a little bit, but he, he knows how to deal with that. And mm -hmm. I think you saw that then on that last shot when it really matters, he can bear down and, and come up with a 10.9. Yeah. So no, yeah. he knows what he's doing. <laughs> that was impressive anyway, yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> well done. Uh, then you, yeah. you have talked with Lucas between the first and the second round. What are you talking? So we were talking about how he was having a little bit of issues with his hold compared to, uh, say, normal situations. Uh, and, you know, he had some tension that he was dealing with and just, you know, just to, to stay focused on performing good shots. Sometimes it's not going to be perfect. Um, but again, with skilled athletes, even when it's not perfect, even when the hold's moving around a little bit, uh, even when there's a little bit of tightness, um, you work with what you have and to continue to perform and stay focused shot after shot after shot so you work more um um not technical with him you work more uh, mental with him yeah at that point right in the middle of the match it, it's he knows the technical parts so it's yeah. just kind of verbalizing back and forth the, the things that, that that he knows and that he's going to do yes okay Margaret, you're not going to get the secrets from usa shooting <laughs> 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 Probably not. Now, let's once again hear for the champion before we talk about tomorrow's match. Lucas Kozenski, the world number three and the World Cup champion, the winner of today. And now let's talk a little bit about tomorrow's big semi-final. Lukas Kozenski of USA versus Martin Stremfel of Austria. Margit. Yeah, tomorrow I think it will be a great day. We remember in the qualification round, Martin shot 636.6. That means uh, three... 0.1 more than the actually world record and he loved this online league we remember we have uh, the online league a few months before we have the team the match with the austrian rocks he won them he won the the team competition he won a lot of single competition so he liked this lucas is new in this format but what we have seen today he's very very strong in fighting I, um, I stopped the time in the beginning and uh, he became faster and faster in the first, only in the first uh, round, he became faster so that Bernhard always have to hurt the, the score from Lucas. So I think he also worked a little bit um, mental to give pressure to the, to the, to the, uh, to the partner. Yeah, I, I think it will be a really, really a great match. Yes, Margit. And, and Margit, I wanted to ask you this question. Are you a little disappointed by by the, by the Bernard's exit today? No, 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 I'm not disappointed. He, he made really a good job. And how he said by himself, he had too much nines. He had a lot of nines. And uh, yes, this was the only thing. If if we don't uh, if we don't have this or make a little bit higher, then he can make m much more. It was always the last shot when when Lucas uh, made this. We remember on the first round it was nine nine, and then with the ten point seven, Lucas make this make this first round, and uh, Bernhard it was a nine point five. 
So it was totally, totally okay that Lucas uh, won this and, and really perfect, perfect 10.9, the last shot to, to win this game. It cannot be better. It really cannot be better. It, it was great. It was really great to, to watch this. Murat, if we can talk about tomorrow's big match, the first semi-final of Lucas versus Martin. What do you have think, to say, Murat? I think uh, this is the, well, premature final, actually. This, these two guys uh, should really meet up in the finals, but it's like the first final of the finals at the end of the day. Uh, it's a it's a semi final, but it can it easily could have been a final as well. It's unbelievable. Probably the best shooters uh, in this whole match in the whole sh competition. Um, but anyway, not not um, underestimating all the others. They are all very strong, and uh, as you can see, surprises can happen all the time. Nobody should give up, and everybody has a very good chance of winning this competition. I'm really looking forward to that match tomorrow. Two, one of the best shooters in the world. World number three, Lukas Kozenski and Austria's Olympic quota winner, Martin Stremfel, who's been in red hot form, Margit. Lukas, we hope to see you tomorrow. Again, dear viewers, if you want to witness this epic semi-final between Lukas Kozenski of USA and Austria's Olympic quota winner, Martin Stremfel. Stay tuned to Indian Shooting Facebook and YouTube channel. We'll be live at the same time. Please come back and cheer for these two champion shooters. Till then, and only till then, goodbye. Goodbye. Ha, ha, ha.